The HAL Tejas MK2 represents a remarkable leap forward in India's journey toward complete aerospace independence and technological advancement. Built upon the lessons learned from the Tejas MK1 and MK1A variants, this upgraded model is more powerful, more versatile, and more future-ready. The development team at Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, working closely with the Aeronautical Development Agency, has refined every aspect of the aircraft, from structure to avionics. With each iteration, India is proving that it can design, test, and produce combat aircraft that meet world-class standards. The Tejas MK2 isn't just an aircraft, it's a statement of capability, signaling that India's air power is entering a new age defined by innovation and indigenous expertise. At its core, the Tejas MK2 is designed as a multirole platform, capable of handling both air superiority and ground attack missions with efficiency. The inclusion of an extended fuselage and new close-coupled canards greatly improves lift and agility, enabling the aircraft to perform high-angle maneuvers at supersonic speeds. Engineers have optimized the airframe for better aerodynamic efficiency, resulting in improved performance during takeoff, dogfights, and high-G turns. The design also integrates stealth-conscious features, such as radar-absorbent materials and carefully shaped air intakes, to reduce its radar signature. While it doesn't qualify as a full stealth fighter, these subtle changes make it harder for enemy radar systems to lock on during combat engagements. One of the most critical upgrades comes from its engine. The Tejas MK2 will be powered by the American-made General Electric F414GE in 6 engine, which produces nearly 98 kilonewtons of thrust. This gives the aircraft tremendous acceleration and climbing power, enabling it to reach higher altitudes faster than its predecessor. For context, this engine is the same type used in several top-tier global fighter programs, meaning it's both battle-tested and reliable. The added thrust allows the Tejas MK2 to carry a heavier payload without sacrificing maneuverability or fuel efficiency. The aircraft's expected top speed is around Mach 1.8, and with additional fuel tanks or mid-air refueling capability, its operational range will significantly exceed 2,000 km. In the cockpit, pilots will experience an entirely reimagined flight environment. The Tejas MK2 integrates a glass cockpit design, complete with wide-area multifunctional touch displays and a hands-on throttle and stick system, known as HOTAS. This setup ensures pilots can access all critical controls without taking their hands off the main flight instruments. The avionics suite includes the indigenous UTAM AESA radar, which offers better detection range, target tracking, and resistance to electronic jamming. Complementing this is a modern infrared search and track IRST, system that enables pilots to detect stealthy or low-visibility targets without relying solely on radar. Combined, these systems make the Tejas MK2 capable of both offensive and defensive operations in the most complex combat environments. The aircraft's weapon-carrying capacity is another major improvement. With 11 hardpoints available, it can carry up to 6,500 kilograms of armament, including beyond visual range missiles, laser guided bombs, anti ship missiles, and precision strike weapons. This makes it suitable for multiple roles, from deep strike missions to maritime defense operations. Additionally, the integration of advanced electronic warfare pods and self protection jammers ensures survivability in hostile environments. The JET's modular weapon system allows it to adapt quickly to different mission types without significant reconfiguration, offering flexibility to mission planners and commanders in the field. On the maintenance and operational front, the Tejas MK2 introduces significant efficiencies. The aircraft's systems have been engineered to allow for quicker turnaround times between missions, meaning ground crews can refuel, rearm, and prepare it for another flight much faster. It also features an upgraded onboard oxygen generation system, reducing reliance on ground-based support equipment. The improved health and usage monitoring systems continuously check the condition of the aircraft's critical components, alerting engineers to potential issues before they become serious. This predictive maintenance approach not only enhances flight safety but also reduces the overall cost of operation over the aircraft's lifetime. In terms of cost, HAL and the Indian government have worked to ensure that the Tejas MK2 remains competitively priced compared to imported alternatives. Indigenous production of avionics, airframe components, and flight control systems drastically cuts dependency on foreign suppliers. 
Although the initial units will use imported engines, discussions for local engine development in collaboration with global firms like Safran are underway. The combination of cost efficiency and high performance positions the Tejas MK2 is an attractive export option for friendly nations looking to modernize their air forces without paying the premium of Western aircraft. As of now, HAL has entered advanced stages of prototype assembly, with the first complete Tejas MK2 expected to roll out by the end of 2025. Ground testing will follow, paving the way for the first flight by late 2026 or early 2027. Production is expected to begin around 2029, with the first operational squadrons entering service in the early 2030s. The aircraft's introduction will mark a defining moment in India's defense history, replacing older fleets like the MIG-29, Mirage 2000, and Jaguar with a homegrown platform. Each milestone brings the Indian Air Force closer to a future where its most capable aircraft are designed and built within the nation's borders, fulfilling a long-standing vision of self-reliance and technological mastery.